First time we meet in how long? In the sun, no one comes down, it comes tumbling to the ground when she speaks. Hello from the land of Australia. I'm so beat, I'm so so tired. It was a 23 hour journey, like from home all the way to here. I'm here for a couple of weeks, my first time in Australia. I'm excited. My mom and my sister are joining me a little bit later. Um, their flight lands at 10 and it's 7 30 or going to 8 so their flight lands at 8 so i'm excited to explore with the two of them um let's see what 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 i tried to vlog on the journey let me tell you guys the story i tried to vlog on the journey the first bit was very very comfortable and i got too comfortable okay and i forgot about the camera then like during my layover that's what i remember oh shit i have to vlog then i said ah i'll just try and do it in the plane Oh my god then i sat next to this beautiful beautiful arabic woman but she had five kids with her not even a butt but uh she had five kids with her and she was trying to handle and they were young kids like i think the eldest was like what 10 and she was just trying to get them all in order and it was so and she couldn't speak english so she really couldn't articulate what she wants properly and so i couldn't help her and they were running around um you know jumping on seats they didn't want to fasten their seatbelts. They didn't want to eat certain things. They wanted to just kick and kick and cry. And I was like, you're, you're really super woman. For you to handle five kids on a flight, um, you're really super woman. And I, I thought I should just, like the worst, the last thing she needs is her kids um, fussing over the camera once I pull it out and we're shooting and it gets all drawing too much attention basically and already attention was on her because of the kids like i was just a thoughtful neighbor so anyway i got here like an hour ago six i talked to my family talked to bernard and then i ran a bath and so i just went to get into bed and sleep catch some sleep maybe before kina mom get here um so far i haven't seen a lot of australia so there's nothing much to speak about it but i'll tell you guys for one thing um before when we were now like um you know planning this trip my sister was so adamant and my mom that we needed to visit sydney and then i was like i did the mahe sabu for the air ticket accommodation because sydney is like a big town of course so flights of course to that place are expensive and accommodation is another expensive thing and you don't book like accommodation and then you know you have to think of food you have to think of transport so like there was so much like it was it was getting to be so expensive i was like it's not worth it we can just shop here <laughs> but then now having come to adelaide um the guy who received me from the hotel explained to me that adelaide is actually a very very small town and then where we act I'll, I'll show you guys tomorrow right now i'm just tired and where we are is literally the town i don't know if i can show you guys from outside my room oh, let me see let me see so he oops he basically explained that that's how the town looks like this is like a view from my room so having seen that it's pretty it's a small town it looks like a, he actually referred to it as a retirement town actually the guy referred to it to adelaide town as like a retirement town his exact words so after seeing like i know i haven't explored the city so i don't really know what it looks like i'm just judging from what i've seen from the airport here and just from my surroundings but i am so happy that i booked that ticket to sydney because now that's what i'm looking forward to because we are meant to visit the hillsong church and i'm a big big ass fan of hillsong so we're supposed to visit the church and then what else are we supposed to do and of course sydney is a big town so from the people i've gathered information from about australia and the best places to shop sydney looks like it's a win and you know i gotta buy me some stuff so I'm really excited and looking forward. I hope the lighting is good. It's it's getting 
it's getting dark i think so i'll show you guys a quick room tour then i'll catch some sleep and then i'll maybe see you guys tomorrow like the Paris um, thingy look just like Paris think they have love couples names written then you throw away the key and it's all the way till there so cute brought me for shopping and we're buying makeup we're trying out smashbox right now have you guys subscribed to her channel have you have you i literally can't stop filming your butt So I'm with Mombi today and she's taking me around her city. Where's the match? Yeah, we need to buy foundation still. Wait, guys, why is this girl buying foundation in Australia? We have a max. We have everything at here, we're just too busy. That's how you don't feel with this thing. Alright, let's even capture the head. Yes. So I, I'm gonna turn a sun wave on Jiren just to buy foundation in Australia. Never mastered Nairobi. No, I feel like I'm still stuck on that idea of makeup in Kenya is more expensive, and I know that's not promoting the industry. But for this month, I'll just buy here, and then we'll see from there. Jiren talk Australia. Let's get my foundation. <laughs> Sets me free It's where I want to be Sets me free It's where I want to be Want to be 